at Tennessee Crossroads, and we're glad you're spending some of your Sunday morning with us. This show features some interesting news stories we're excited about, plus some encore features I hope you enjoy seeing again. Something old, something new, just like a wedding, which just happens to be the subject of our first story. Here's Jerry Thompson. The Bethel community is not an easy place to find. In fact, on our first attempt, we passed right by. Whoever said if you blink your eyes, you'll miss her, must have been talking about Bethel. It doesn't even rate a dot on the map. It's down in this area somewhere south of Nashville. It's between Theta and Fly. It's just a solid, basic community. It was designated an official Tennessee Homecoming 86 community. It has your basic general store and a church that still teaches that cleanliness is next to godliness. And it also has a very basic relief station. It's an old-fashioned outhouse. <laughs> When we found Bethel, we found almost everyone in the community, right here at the community house. It's a special occasion for Bethel, because it'd be a special occasion for most any community. They're having a wedding, and it's also a very special wedding. People are coming from miles around. Women are busy in the kitchen, dishing out plate after plate of delicious home-cooked food. Men sit around on the porch of the community house, sampling that food while they discuss the more weighty issues of the world. It's obvious from the turnout that people here are ready for the social event of the season. Any wedding in Bethel is special. The one here tonight is very special. Most of the movers and shakers in the community are actively involved. On this particular night, the church was a beehive of activity. It was where the wedding participants were getting dressed for the wedding. That's the bride and groom over there. The soloist seems to be having a problem with unruly hair. And if the mother of the groom, Skelly Walters, had just shaved off his mustache, he could have easily been the best looking woman in the wedding. <laughs> As you've probably already guessed, the thing that makes this wedding so special is the fact it's a womanless wedding. The womanless wedding is an age-old method for raising money for worthwhile projects. The people of Bethel stage theirs to raise money to put a new roof on the community house. For the first time, these men will get some idea of what it's like to wear a bra, or eyeliner, or lipstick, or what it feels like not to be able to do a thing with their hair. <laughs> Bernie Ellis is a state employee normally, but obviously he's not too normal this night. Do you do this often, Bernice? Uh, never before, never again, but anything for the community center. We've been getting together about twice a month for music, generally, and um, the community center has done all the work that was necessary, raised the money to fix up the center. We need a new roof. We figured if we all got out here and looked silly, we'd get a new roof. So uh, from the crowd down there, I guess we'll have a new roof pretty soon. Well, I hope so, and I, I hope I don't offend you, but I must say, you have a very beautiful set of eyes. Well, thank you, thank you. They only took about three hours and, and 20 pounds of makeup to get there, but hopefully they'll take a minute and a rag to get off. Then there's the bride and groom. Bill, Wilhelmina, Malugan, and N.O. Never On Time Potts. Uh, excuse me for saying this, but it looks like you're getting married just in the nick of time. <laughs> Bless Pat, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've noticed that Everybody in the community is pitching in behind this whole effort. Uh, what got the fire started under Bethel again? Well, uh, I guess it went back, we got probably to homecoming 86. We got, uh, kind of got together in preparation for that and um, we opened up the, the old schoolhouse, got permission from the Board of Education to start using that uh, once again. and. So we started uh, various activities, mostly uh, bluegrass picking and uh, dancing, but a little bit of everything. Well, it seems everybody pitches in, from the smallest child to, to the old folks, right? Yeah, it's, it's a community-geared operation. We try to have a little bit for everybody. After Robert, Roberta, Longo, the pianist, and Travis, Tracy Wharf, 
the soloist entertained the crowd, the wedding began. It began despite the continuous outburst from the mother of the bride. We are gathered here together today on this such a joyous and sudden occasion <laughs> to unite this couple into the bonds of holy alimony, matrimony. And anyone wishing to protest, detest, arrest this consecration of this such a young and budding couple should do so at this time, please. Any woman that's wedding worth its salt just has to have a jilted lover. You've been speaking. You've been speaking all this woman. You've been speaking all this woman for months. Coming to see me. What is this all about? I don't know her. I never seen her before in my life. Come on, come on. Get her out of here. 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 Get her out After that minor interruption, the ceremony continued. Now repeat after me, please. In mind, body, and soul. In mind, body, and soul. In debt and in the hole. In debt and in the hole. And when time for love is right. And when time for love is right. I've got a headache, not tonight. I now denounce you, man and wife. No, no. Please kiss the bride. After the wedding, the people of Bethel were in no hurry to go home. They never are. They enjoy the friendship, the fellowship, the down-home, warm, friendly feeling of just being good neighbors. When Bransford hotshot Wilson, a member of the wedding party, Lost an arm in a farming accident. People of Bethel got together for a benefit for him. They did it again when Janine Longo, the wife of the pianist, was stricken with cancer and required surgery. And they've done the same thing on a number of other occasions when a neighbor was in trouble. But tonight they're celebrating. They're having fun. There's been a wedding in the community. And the preacher and the bride and all the others are making music. And everyone, young and old, Enjoy. Well, the people of the Bethel community have done a lot more here tonight than just get together for a night of fun and fellowship. They've reestablished and reaffirmed their sense of community spirit. And even though they don't even rate a dot on the map, they'll be here singing and visiting and sharing with each other long after we've gone back to the big city because they found something a lot of us are still looking for. Mm -hmm. 